we've got an interesting case of a redo penetrating keratoplasty and open sky cataract surgery. This patient has had a previous penetrating keratoplasty performed over 30 years ago, and the graph has started failing. Its visual acuity has declined over the years from a baseline of 612 down to just light perception. There was also associated brunescent cataract. As you can see here, there is also developed significant ectasia between the graft host junction, and some of the areas were extremely thin. Using a blunt dissection technique, we've managed to separate the old graft from the host tissue. And finally, an entry point was made. The donor tissue was first inspected under a microscope. It was then placed on a coronate trephine, and an 8.5 mm trephine was used to create a punch. Viscoelastics was used to protect the endothelium, and the rest of the cornea was then removed with the cornea scissors. As you can see, the anterior capsule of the cataract was initially stained right at the beginning. Using a sister tomb, a little flap was then created. The aim is to create a large continuous capsular rexus so that the cataract can then be prolapsed. Care must be taken not to put any further pressure on the globe as the risk of an AC roundout or supracoroidal hemorrhage Using balanced salt solution, further hydrotex dissection was made, and with a continuous jet of fluid, the rest of the nucleus was then prolapsed. Using a sister tomb and a chopper, the cataract was then removed. The rest of the cortical material can then be cleaned and removed efficiently and safely with a Simcoe cannula. Viscoelastic was then injected into the bag and a preloaded intraocular lens was placed into the bag. The donor cornea was then placed over the defect and 10 nylon suture was used to secure the graft. A total of 16 interrupted 10 nylon sutures were then placed. This part of the video was speed up by at least 10 times, but the principle is to place 16 interrupted sutures and to spread the tension equally. The suture nodes were then rotated and buried. Placido des Myers was used to check for equal tension and control of astigmatism. Fluorescein was used to make sure there is no leaks and antibiotics was then given at the end.